Imperial Pod. Case. Drifting centrals, or kind of an opening gap between the two front teeth. Um, a lot of times these patients are coming in asking for some kind of orthodontic closure, some Invisalign, clear line, or something to close the space. And often the space is something that newly formed. Um, and newly formed being like relatively within a couple of years, a year, months. Um, they just noticed it, you know, they didn't have it really most of their life. And then now they're in their 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever, the gaps started to open up. Um, within that short span of time, often something made it move. Um, probably something pathological. Often they have periodontal pocketing around one of the teeth. In this case, the one that's kind of jettisoning out or, or protruding out, that's the one that typically has the periodontal pocketing around it and inflammation. And often too, we find that there's sometimes some traumatic occlusion, like patients biting down and this tooth has very overt fremitus. So it kind of flexes out every time he bites down. And also sometimes it can be associated with a moment of trauma. Maybe there was some subluxation of the tooth, um, some minor fra fragmenting of the bone underneath that created a potential opening in the gum pocket for then bacteria to slide underneath. Um, just an initial loosening to create the pathway for periodontal disease um, can be associated. So that's why it could sometimes be associated with a moment of trauma that just never really technically healed. Um, he did have generalized periodontal disease though. Um, and so the, the, the occlusion with the persistent um, periodontal disease that he's got probably played a big factor, but again, he might've had some moment, a moment of trauma. He did have an isolated pocketing around, I'm mean, just around this, this front tooth of 10 millimeters, but it did wrap around palatally as well and kind of ended because you got more facial. It did start to drop a little bit more of a shallow pocket. Um, but when we open up this guy, you can see big old hunk of calculus right over here. I'm trying, I'm trying to outline it right over here with my mouse. Um, and then you can start to see the defect in the bone. This is kind of the ledge of bone on the neighboring um, number eight tooth. And so this is number nine. And you can see it's kind of a two wall defect as it kind of wraps around to like a one wall defect, we kind of lost a lot of palatal bone here. And that's really gonna re limit our potential for regeneration. I mean, if we saw a wall of bone circumferentially, feel a little bit more of a potential uh, of being able to bring back some of that attachment. Um, not to say we couldn't, but we're just more limited in how much attachment we can get. Because if we place bone here without a membrane or even with a membrane, it's going to be hard to contain that bone in the right place to let it regenerate. So we expect some, but not full regeneration. Um, but can we potentially let this guy keep this tooth? Yeah, there's a shot. Um, to buy him more time. Of course, it's not going to have the perfect prog long-term prognosis, but we can buy him more time with it. And not until we are, we are we confirming that that periodontal condition is relatively stable, are we really moving the tooth? There is some literature that can support that you, you can graft around these areas after you immediately clean and start moving right away. Um, I just personally like to wait till I get some confirmation that there's a reduction in inflammation and patients able to keep it clean um, before I start making them have some form of orthodontic appliance. It's going to make it more difficult for them to keep it clean. Um, and we will have to modify the occlusion. And sometimes, honestly, there's some spontaneous closure that can happen if you adjust the bite and clean the perio, um, clean the perio properly. Um, and, and so sometimes I let that happen a little bit before we jump into some form of orthodontic treatment to close that space. The end.